Senator Faulkner. Uh, thank you, Madam uh, Acting Deputy President. At 10:30 uh, a.m. on the 3rd of January this year, uh, the Sydney Cricket Ground celebrated a special milestone. When the Australians took to the field against India at the SCG, it was the 100th Test match to be played at that ground. The SCG uh, joined Lords and the Melbourne Cricket Ground as one of the only three grounds in the world to have hosted 100 cricket tests. Uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, uh, as I promised last year, I was a face in the crowd for this historic occasion, and I can uh, inform the Senate that that 100th test match was a success. It was a success uh, for the spectators who were there, uh, for a success for the ground, uh, a success for the uh, SCG staff uh, and the SCG Trust, and of course it was a success for the Australian cricket team uh, who beat uh, India convincingly by an innings and 68 runs and, of course, who went on to win the series and the Border Gavaskar Trophy. A special mention uh, must go to the Australian captain, Michael Clarke, who scored uh, an historic uh, 329 runs not out. It was his fourth test century as captain his highest test score uh, and also uh, the highest uh, test innings ever scored in an Australia-India test and the highest test innings ever scored at the SCG. Madam Acting Deputy President, on the uh, Indian side, the uh, champion Indian batsman Sachin Tendulkar was very warmly received by the SCG crowd, uh, despite his batting average from uh, seven uh, previous innings at the ground being uh, an incredible 221. Uh, the little master failed to score his uh, 100th century in international cricket at the SCG. This was a uh, disappointment to many. And I'd have to admit, um, they included myself. Uh, it may well be uh, the last time we see Sachin play uh, test cricket uh, in, uh, uh, in Australia, this tour. And uh, it also might be the last time, of course, we will see uh, those other uh, champion Indian batsmen, Rahul Dravid and VVS Lakshman. Madam Acting Deputy President, uh, it was not just performances in the middle that made this 100th test a success. Uh, the Sydney test has become a, an important focal point for raising awareness of and uh, money to fight breast cancer. The third day of the Sydney test, now popularly known as Jane McGrath Day, was a <coughs> sea of pink shirts, hats, bandanas, uh, clothing and accessories of all kinds, all in aid of the McGrath Foundation. No other ground in the world can boast such a day with such an important message. Uh, the growing success of Jane McGrath Day is a credit, I think, to the uh, McGrath Foundation, uh, to uh, Cricket Australia and to the SCG Trust. Since its inception three years ago, over $2.2 million has been successfully raised at the ground to assist over uh, 10,000 Australian uh, families uh, experiencing breast cancer and to support 68 uh, breast care nurses in communities 
across Australia. Madam Acting Deputy President, the 100th test at the SCG was commemorated by 12 talented Australian artists tasked with capturing the historic occasion on canvas. The finished works were donated uh, to the 100th test art auction, which itself successfully raised over $20,000 for the McGrath Foundation. Uh, I must say, uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, that you don't make it to 100 te test matches uh, without showing your age, and uh, the Sydney Cricket Ground uh, is no exception. The SCG <coughs> Trust used the occasion of the 100th test to announce work to build a state-of-the-art modern pavilion to replace the 78-year-old MA Noble stand, as well as the Bradman and Daly Messenger stands, uh, and that work uh, is going to uh, begin soon. The $186 million facelift will offer patrons seats closer to the field of play, more seats under cover, and no part of the new structure will obstruct any spectators' view of play. The SCG's new video screen will be uh, twice the size of the existing screen at the ground and the largest at any sporting ground in Australia. The new development will also include uh, improved media facilities, uh, corporate suites, uh, AFL dressing rooms, bars and eateries, uh, we all uh, with views of the Sydney skyline and uh, also uh, secure player entry. The iconic clock tower will be retained and the new modern pavilion style, I'm assured, will complement the historic members and ladies' stands. Uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, uh, tonight I want to acknowledge the support of both the New South Wales and federal governments in making funds uh, available for this development. And the, the development is actually anticipated to lift the capacity of the ground from 45,758 to just below 48,000. It will be finished ahead of the Ashes Test uh, match between Australia and England in January 2014. Uh, perhaps, uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, a final word uh, about the SCG from a man uh, considered to be one of the uh, greatest batsmen in the history of cricket. Uh, and who has scored more runs and more centuries than any other player in either Test cricket or one day internationals, but who will be uh, inevitably disappointed with his two innings of uh, 41 and 80 in the SCG's 100th Test match, but his 186th Test match, and that is. Sashin Ramesh Tendulkar. So to finish, I quote him. It's a terrific ground, a special place, and I love the atmosphere inside. It's wonderful. <laughs>